This tutorial video aims to show how to create shop floor documentation using Edcam's live job reports. Machine Simulator has checked my toolpaths. I'll go on to generate my CNC program. However, there is still one vital element missing from the production process. There's critical information buried within my 50 cam instructions. How do I communicate all this information to the setter operator of the machine tool? Well, one suggestion is to create a text file. Activate from the drop down menu and state the file name. The resultant file displays some of the information that we require, but not all of it. The best answer is to use Live Job Reports, which provides a summary of settings found in the Job Manager. The report is automatically updated whenever data changes, plus, as it's HTML, it can be open and run across the internet. You can filter by customers, families of component parts, or status, proven, non-proven. Here is the job from the part we just machined. As you can see, there's a wealth of information, all pertinent to the setup of the part, job, stock, and fixture notes I use to convey data. A list of tools required to run the part. This could be given to a tool room to create a kit. Job instructions provides a breakdown of all the cam data and also cycle times. And lastly, as a picture speaks a thousand words, we have job images. These can either be screenshots or they can be JPEG files. Click to enlarge. So how does Edgecam create this live job report? The simple answer is, register the file within your job manager. We see evidence of the job when we generate code. In this case, as we generate code, the report will always be updated. When I edit the machining sequence, we also see the job name in the job tab. And at this particular stage, I could select browse and retrospectively record the file in the job manager. I would recommend creating the job name in your job manager before you begin the machining sequence. A little tip here, enter the first letter of your post processor and Edgecam will filter to only machines beginning with D, Doosan in my case. On the right hand side, Current toolkits will now only offer job records that have been kitted to the Doosan machines. Here's the job record from our part. The padlock symbol means it can be clicked, closed or opened, meaning the record is locked out or the record is open, allowing more tools to be added. You're already acquainted with the tool store as the tools in your CAM file came from this database and it's the same database that contains the job manager where you create the job record. And for convenience sake, the toolkit assistant here combines both the tool store and job manager into one interface. On the left is the job manager. Here is the job record we saw previously. The majority of the data fields are automatically set by Edgecam, such as the tooling. Other data fields, such as stock, fixture and job notes, are used to convey practical information to the setter operators. A nice tip here is to click the green symbol found on the top right hand side. This will filter out all tools except the tools used in your job record. The relevant tools appear in a blue highlight. This makes it easy to ID which tools belong to the kit. Deselecting the symbol and the entire database is displayed again. But with the filter on, toolkit data on the bottom left hand side becomes active. We can now add extra data to this drill, but the data is only pertinent to the job record. In other words, this drill can be used by many other jobs, but the data I'm entering here can only be seen and displayed by the pre-selected job record. You'll recollect that we had screenshot and digital images displayed within the job report. To do this, we use Save Job Image found in the file menu. I'm going to create an image of the boring bar. I'll cross section the view using clipping command found in the configure view dialog area. And once I'm satisfied with the size of the image, I use the Save Job Image command. The graphic screen is now automatically added to the job report. The blue up down arrows are used to determine the order of appearance in the job report. To check if this has worked, I'll regenerate the code to ensure the report is being updated with any new data. I'll move back now to the HTML file, which is of course our job report, and I'll open up job images list. 
The report now contains the boring bar and it's the first in the list. Click on the image to enlarge. To allow the job report to display digital images, you simply place the JPEG file into the folder. The folder is always your tool store support folder and the subfolder is very easy to identify as it uses the same name as your job report. You must activate the new image by editing the job record and select report images. You can now see the name of the JPEG file and by clicking the checkbox it will be activated. You can add further information about the image by entering data inside the description field. Again I'll return back to your job report, refresh the page and now I can see the new image has been entered onto the job image page. So a little bit of revision, the toolkit assistant contains both the tool store and the job manager. You highlight the record and using the green fob symbol, only tools for this job are displayed and the toolkits command comes into play. So here we can see the notes that I added earlier to the drill. Remember it's in the notes tab, it reads check for overall length. But does the job report actually display this information? We go back into the job report to the relevant page but we don't see the notes information and this is because the tool data dialog inside the job manager hasn't been told to display notes. This could be true of other columns as well. Thus what we do is we go back to the toolkit assistant, edit the record, go to the tooling tab, right mouse click and activate columns. We search down the columns and then we'll find notes. We'll check on notes, we select apply and then cancel to exit. We can now move back to job reports and in the job reports we will refresh and check if notes are now being displayed on that tool, indeed they are.